What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. We are back. The fusion is over. We've done our job and now what? What's next? What do you do when the big grind is over? Well, typically you have another grind to dive into and sometimes you can just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy the game. And that is something really special. Now, if you're not yet enjoying the game because you haven't downloaded the game, well, shame on you. Download the game using my QR code above or the link in the description of this video, and that will put you well on your way to happiness and joy. It also gets you Rector Draft, a free Reviver Healer Champion inside a raid, as well as a bunch of other goodies. And it supports my channel, so that's a win for everyone. So because we're not really focusing too hard on the milestones here, we're just participating in activities. And if we get milestones, great. If we don't, well, that's fine too, because we already have what we need for our Thor. We're in a good position. We do have the artifact enhancement, which is dropped. I don't know that I'll be participating in this one. Actually, we have 20 million silver. I could actually participate in that and do just fine. But we also did have Spider that just dropped today. There's also Tag Tournament, which is going on, and I am not a fan of Tag. But you know what? We're probably going to mess around with this. We're going to mess around. Notice I have some teams that are all the same faction. You know why? Because there's that little thing that like prompts you to use all the same faction in, in Tag Arena. So we're doing that a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's fine. It's all fine. But we're going to be grinding a bit of that. Spider is a good one. We can get ourselves some gear and a bunch more silver. And really, the Tag Arena is just easy. And I don't push Tag at all. But I have been pushing the normal arena. And, clan boss, I actually have to feature my clan boss rewards for the day. That's gonna be my gotcha mechanic inside of my videos, guys. I wanna share with you what I get out of those boxes every day. Isn't that gonna be dandy? I think so. Oh, well, let's first take down this ultimate death knight. Is that what his name is? I think it is. Is it? Nah, I can't tell. Uh, let's do another one of these really quickly. I don't have the best team set, as I mentioned, because I, they are all the same faction, but I'm, I don't care, man. I don't care. Happy fall, by the way. It just came to be fall, my favorite season of the year. I love the fall. It's just the best. I'm just going to go through a couple more of these just to, to kind of tickle my fancy. Okay, back to the matter at hand here. That's going to be going over to Clan Boss. And choosing, well, seeing what my rewards are. We did a Brutal. Did we get anything good out of Brutal? Oh, uh, we got some gems and a piece of gear. Nothing great. Uh, nothing great again. Are these speed boots? Attack boots? Sell. Okay. Claim all that. Well, how about Nightmare? Did we get anything good out of Nightmare? We, a piece of gear. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, a Legendary! Oh, look at that! And an Ancient Shard. A legendary skill tome and an ancient shard. That is a big pull right there. Yes, that's why we still do Nightmare. I love that. Now, Ultra Nightmare, can it compare? Another, that's two legendary skill tomes on the day. Now, no ancient shard, but still very good pull. Oh, and a sacred. That's a day. This is why we do this on video. Sacred shard. Ancient Shard, two legendary skill tomes. That's how you pro progress your account for free, boys. That's how you do it. Now we're just gonna run our Ultra Nightmare really quickly. It should only take me a moment, you know? All right, 351K damage on that one. And then we come back. See, like, this is so easy. Do this, earn yourself shards and skill tomes. And it takes no time because we beat the min damage. That's a huge win if you ask me, in my opinion. I like it. Another one right there. Beautiful. Okay. Now, what are we up to next? We're going to save the energy. Oh, we're actually full on energy, which means we should probably take it over to Spider, right? So this Spider tournament, what are the rules here? What are the rules? Get accessories from Spider's Den. So I could do one of two things. We could go and do level 20 Spider, get level 5 and 6 gear, or we can do level 10 Spider and get like level 4 gear. Let's go, let's go with the harder spider. And we can even do, can we do it with a team like this? I am unsure. Let's go, let's put our mons in here. We're gonna go with, with, with what the heck? Why are these sorted like that? By rank, we, well, that was weird. All right, there we go. So we got our burn, we got our nuke, we got our stunner. Now, 
we've got some champions that need to get energy like like this guy needs not energy levels needs to get some levels and how about this one right here a new epic let's see if they could take down spider this could actually be difficult we probably won't win this actually if you ask me i would say we're going to lose this right here and they just took a bunch of damage from us but there goes rathalos our damage dealer so that's a that's an issue we got this spider down to half health with only three champions essentially it's pretty nice yeah there's the game over there you win this time spider you win this time so let's go back to the map we're gonna actually have to do this um and i guess we could do 16 but i'll just i'll just run spider 10 and we'll do that with food can i go with three pieces of food let's try it let's see if we could we should be able to let's see if we could triple dip on the food i don't even think i have dub xp going right now though so it's probably not the best time to farm food maybe it'd be better if i was just farming gear at this point in time i wonder if we put our we put our spider team together remove one element of it and just put my new legendary that i'm trying to get my uh my thor it's actually it's not thor thor's already 50. it's another new guy i pulled if we could then farm 20 even though we remove one element from a successful spider team it's worth trying just trying to get the most value out of my actions here out of my energy spider 20 was not it okay there we go so then we got some gear look at that five star gear it does drop good five star gear see we're not rocking any xp boost right here so it's probably not worth it by the way elder skarg is the new champion that we got let's try something here let's go to spider let's go to spider 20 what is my team set up for spider 20 i am wondering if we could remove ursula and if we could throw in a piece of food let's try it i'm concerned with no reviver we could be in a difficult spot basically i just added the uh the dark elf i think we're gonna be fine here and look at that shield on that elf that elf's shield is fancy this is, this is GG. This is the plan right here, all right? So we'll, we'll farm Spider 10, 20. We'll get the better gear with a chance of six star gear, not just getting five star gear. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's okay. Energy isn't like crazy necessary. And we got ourselves a six star ring, legendary for the Sacred Order. That's actually a nice looking ring. It doesn't have any speed on it. I don't know that it can though, but do we want like, yeah, I guess we do need rings and things like that but how much progress am i actually gonna have because it's more expensive utilizing the extra energy is what what where, where where's my stats here what's the delay here doom tower though speaking of spider we are stuck here on this spider and i know the team that we should be using to get it done I think Venomage is one of them, but we can't get Venomage up. Actually, I want to check him out. Is my Venomage even geared? I'm not sure. I believe so. No, not even geared. So that's not going to work. I mean, I've done this in the past. We've been successful. My Farol, my Farol by the way, is geared. Let's see if we can get, if we could push through that Doom Tower spider in an unorthodox way. Ugh, I, I don't like this. So we have to go with Armands. We have to go with Tyrant. Uh, you know, we don't need Tyrant. We're going to go with uh, Geomancer. Um, Rathalos. What if I go with... Heal. And a revive. I am I'm essentially looking for luck here because I don't know the best way to do this. I love Ursula because she will revive the entire team. I like Syl because she will revive one player, but she will also, and more importantly, heal on her turn, her teammates. So that's actually really good. Also, Ursula does increase speed, I believe, and increase defense. So there's a lot of benefits of having Ursula in the team. Remember, she was one of my favorites for a while. I absolutely loved her. Uh, Ursula, oh God. Okay, Rathalo, oh God, no. This isn't good. We need a massive nuke out of him, and I don't... We, we need to get lucky. This isn't the worst setup, 
Ursula didn't, oh, oh, didn't give it what I needed. Didn't do what we needed there. Come on, oh, Rathalos. Can we get another revive of him? No, that's gonna be it. Okay, good night, GG. Hmm. What if we do Wixwell? What if we do Geo? Although I'm, I'm thinking Tyrant may be better than Geo. Armand's Rathalos, Sill. This could be better. This is gonna shield me? His shield won't be extended because I'm not using a shield extendor, but it could work. Look at Geomancer, he's getting wrecked. He's just not built as tanky as my Tyrant, so the next thing I'm gonna do, depending on what Wick... Oh my God. That was worse. This is worse. So we gotta do Tyrant and maybe Ursula. Maybe that's the key. Maybe Geo's just doesn't have what it takes. Geo. I, don't, I, I, I was under the Im impression that he had the better burn. See, these two are our go-tos right here. They're doing a good job. Okay, no good. Didn't work. Didn't work. So we're gonna go Tyrant. Boom. Armands. Rathalos. I could go Ninja too. So, boom. That's the new try. See, the increasing of defense of Ursula may really be a beneficial thing. We're not getting a shield that we get from Wixwell, but we are getting increased defense. Now, this spider is gonna spit at me to start. That's what's been happening. I wonder if Armand's isn't worth it. Is Armand's not cutting it? Is he really stunning much here? Let's take a look. If he's not stunning the spider... Oh, God. Rathalos is down already? I don't know who did that revive. I think it was Sil. I have a lot of ideas on how we can make this work. I'm seeing, I'm watching Armand's essentially and realizing that he's not doing too much. He's doing it in the waves, but he's not doing too much actually in the battle itself. Tyrant honestly wasn't that good. Weird team. No nuker here. This is all just about the burn and the shielding. I don't know if this can work. We're, we're And this is what slows me on the Doom Tower and that gets me mad. Well, I guess it's gonna be back to the regular spider that we can beat and to progress that tournament. We have clan versus clan in 18 hours. That's gonna be fun. And uh, make sure you're back tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a live stream. Maybe it won't. It all depends on my schedule, but download Raid so you can play alongside of me either way. See you tomorrow.